What's up guys, this is the Rifle and I am back to bring the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United Pro uh, not United Provinces, as the 13 Colonies. So, to round off our last time, we successfully attacked and destroyed the Venice garrison, um, but then Spain has decided to, de to declare war on us and they were not joined by their ally in Paris. So that gives us, as you can immediately see on this map, a bunch of interesting intermediate targets. So the garrison from Naples did sally out and attack Rome and re were repelled in an incredibly one-sided battle. Um, and then forces from Milan are also attacking into Italy. So what I want to do is... Uh, if I had to wait so I've got a bit more cash, so I can build a bit more of a garrison so I can send these troops out on a bit of an excursion. So this Rome garrison I want to knock out Naples. Um, this army up in Venice, I would like, when well, I've got a reasonable garrison in Venice, to attack this small stack here, destroy them, then go on and attack Milan. I don't want to leave Venice exposed by marching eastward now, because I will have no garrison bonus, because they have no reason to actually like me. So yeah, I think I need to take a, a bit of time, don't rush don't rush forward so hard. And good, we've got some great arsenals um, built, so that means we've got we can go on. A, we can build better artillery, and B, we can carry on our research. But not that we want to at the minute, because actually these options are... Actually, maybe not Code Blast Furnace, get first level Spinning Jenny, because it's been a while since I've actually managed to build any of these industrial buildings in the first place. Yeah, and this force has raided our ports and our College of Divinity, so our conversion of Rome has halted temporarily, but... Let's see if there's anything we can do in Diplomacy. Nope. And then let's see... Check our ministers again, actually. Let's, let's try to get a new Europe minister. He's also rubbish. Everyone else is pretty good, so I'm more than happy to leave them. Let's hit enter. Ah oh, yes, I've also sent this army here that was waiting near the Cherokee borders and I want to send them to go take Louisiana. I don't like... Ooh. Okay. So the Naples garrison has left. They've left Naples completely. See against those forces in Milan. Army down. Let's go take out Naples. Or oh, my recorded episodes. I think they've taken their pointer, not the one we'll have to see. I have no involvement in that. So we're. Obvious. Region. Yeah. Norway is a Russian territory now. So I'd watch out. Sweden. Not Sweden. Denmark. But once I've secured Naples, I'd like to hop off and secure Sardinia. Or maybe the Russians now might use that as an opportunity to springboard across into the Americas and start to get some colonies. I mean, America is usually where the colonies always go. Like, I never really get involved in... Yeah, I've got, I get the distinct feeling they both are not happy that I have that province. Like, if I was to trade it away to anyone, or entice a rebellion, if I entice a rebellion it would go back to the Cherokee anyway. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the type I'm not going to upgrade it either, am I? Not while there's a army wandering around so if I moved you guys out you would hate me and I would get a very small garrison bonus okay so you stay here as a bit of a blocking force and then let's just build up well maybe not marines if they take up too much no nope, take out the same amount let's get two marines Four line infantry and cavalrymen. And you probably need a drill school. To be honest, I could probably sally out and attack these armies because there's no threat from Naples anymore. And as annoying as it is, it might be tempting to actually cancel recruitment of this and change it to a military governor's barracks so I could at least support. The construction of more line infantry. But, I mean, these guys are pretty solid, I've no doubts about them. They'll be a full stack soon. 
But I'd probably like just to tack on a bunch of infantry to be built. Let's hop back to the Americas. You guys had to stop replenishing, so keep going. Pull some stuff. Military academies have been built, which meant that we can now make Hartford do new model bayonet drill to get us grenadier guards and line infantry guards. Far in advance is pretty good for that plus one training level. Um. Hmm. I think I'm gonna keep going down the going down the land army tree. Oh yes, and I forgot all about my navy. So send these ships down to Trinidad. So this is my first squadron. Oh, and I could send them to go and attack them and clear them off. I mean, it'd be a cheap way to expand my fleet, but to be honest, my fleet doesn't really... I'm not very really bothered about my fleet expanding at the minute. I mean, it depends how many people there are in Louisiana, I suppose. So let's go to the Mughals. The Mughal Empire is Iceland. Okay, okay, hold on. So, Poland's doing beastly well. They've taken Breslau, so they're squeezing the Prussians even more. And they do own Bulgaria. It's just... Oh, okay, it's Istanbul, is... it's Istanbul that's the big region. Oh, okay. The Ottomans are... Wait a minute. So the Ottomans of Kabul was a... Well, the Ottomans are at war with the Persians. Persia and Russia. So that's why they've taken Persia. They've taken Afghanistan. Soon they'll take um, Zahidan. And then there will be no... Oh, God. And they've... And they've actually landed in Turkey. No, not Turkey. In India. And India's owned by the Mughals, which is interesting. And you've got Westphalia all the way up here in Kashmir. <laughs> this has been a bit of a funky part, hasn't it? Well, funky campaign. Cool. So let's hit and turn again. Of course they did. I'll do this just, just to test my native allies. Ah! No, wait. Wait. They are... Oh, yes, I'm absolutely going to intercept. Absolutely, I want to intercept that. <laughs> uh, he's in Europe. I want to send one west to take out Milan, one south to take Naples, and then one east to take V. Because screw you, Austria. No one declares war on me and gets away with it. Be same again, isn't it? So now we have even more cavalry. Still, like I said, it's an, it's a a very good tool for harvesting experience. Ooh, what might be useful for harvesting experience is actually getting my Game of Howards are here, also ready to fire. Um, actually, I'll just keep my cavalry inside. Then deploy some infantry in case they get around the sides again. Generals inside, good. Although they've got even fewer men than they had before, so I do not anticipate. Um, many problems. Especially they're attacking from a different side this time. The opposite side. Yeah, I'd run if I were you, conscripts. Yeesh. And militia. I mean, yeah, it's militia more than conscripts, but still. I mean, how it says can engage anyone, but I probably want them to attack Infantry, just to get some more experience. 
Ah, oh, I forgot I didn't put a damn troop to shoot down the center. I mean, I'm gonna turn a fire well off for these guys because their constant drumming is getting on my nerves. Theoretically, I think I should have probably left some spaces around so that we shared out the experience so that my yeah so that my my army in general was just more experienced but I, I do like to go to, to um, bring some infantry units up the experience level it's this unit second regiment of militia They've all fidgeted around. Come how it's a sniper general. So I have a sneaking suspicion this has been friendly fire that's killed a bunch of these men. No one's cranked up to second to second experience yet. Second rank. Come on, you're getting some pot shots off. Unsuccessfully though. Let's crank up the experience again. So our hearts are still firing off the general's bodyguard. They may as well, because they're not going to be super effective doing many other things. Oh, conscripts coming back. So it's probably going to be... Actually, this guy has no experience yet. But once the 8th Regiment of Militia comes into view, they're going to shoot them to pieces. So then this army... This army is going to is gradually grow, earning its spurs. Yep, there you go. That's their rank one's experience got. And looks like these guys do want to be cheeky chappies that try to run around the back. Oh yeah, this unit in the front did get to second rank, which I don't I think it changed. The benefits change. I know it's still the same ones, but I thought I thought there was a whole even ranks do this, odd ranks do that. But no, I'll take accuracy 44, really in a skill 29, compared to, yeah, that's a lot. Better quality of infantry, that's for sure. Okay, so let's turn firewall off and then back on, because they were not engaging the second regiment of militia as they should have been. But as we've seen before, routing on all sides... Not even triple speed this one. This is what happens when you when you wander too close to a decent city. God, they're gonna come back. Ready? Fire! These guys might even get to three. It'd be nice if you guys get to two. They might oh no, I was about to say they might actually get on the walls this time, but apparently not. Mortar's doing a good job picking away their general. They haven't killed the general, but they have caused him to rout. They've killed lots of his staff. I'm specifically not targeting these guys in case short rounds kill my infantry. Oh no, I will target them now because they are engaging in a shooting war. Which we will still win, but I'd like to take as few casualties as possible from this unit in particular, considering their special status. Good, another heroic victory. And we will have lost more than the last battle because of that friendly fight. Actually, no, we lost less. Because he didn't charge cavalry, I suppose. But still, 14 men, and they killed nine, almost a thousand Italians. 
So that Venetian garrison and the Venetian walls now are that much more important. Dockyard, I would like a military dockyard. Three turns, but it looks like the, the otter again. Um, I can't ex change that into a military port. But yeah, I'm glad in this camp this time around. I want to see the wing now. All of the loose attack over here still has some Spanish troops in it. But because Na because Naples now is a smaller garrison, I can spend the time. I can actually s split. Ooh, okay. Here come the Mughals. Looks like they need a bit of re-education as to how things work too. And it also means I'm probably going to want to attack I India at the same time. Not India at the same time, but I'm going to want to push back there against them. Trade agreement. Alliance broken. Don't know. Don't worry about the raids. Spinning Jenny good. Upgrade, upgrade. New port. New roads are being built. New, go new government. New ports are being built. Still need to replenish. You guys are going to march on Louisiana, which has a full army, but it's lots of... Well, there are lots of really experienced native troops, though. But I've got lots of cavalry. Um, oh, they're all there. They're experienced, but depleted. Just maintain siege for now. So, down here, we have... A Mughal army. Just a pretty box down a Mughal army. We have attacked correct territory to make an actual difference. This is going to be the army I send to repel them, because this army is still currently bottled in. I mean, I could... I okay, I mean, yeah, go on, let's send... I'm going to auto it for now, because my naval skills are not impeccable. Even though it should be, it would be an easy sink to play. Boom. So then let's take my now slightly damaged fleet. Go hit their fleet. Because it's probably going to be not very big. Yeah, it's all lots of tiny ships. God, one of our fourth raids is almost sunk. Captain. So let's get you into a f safe, friendly port. And repair. This army. Embark. So I'm going to accept I'm not going to stop them from actually landing. So let's take my sloop. Well, I don't know actually. If I, if I drop them off here. Curious to what they can actually do. I'm not going to rebuild anything there. Construction reports. So we've got all the plantations done. We've upgraded the port. Venice now has walls, which are now going to be filled with infantry. So three next turn, and the turn after that, and the turn after that, and the turn after that. So there is. A small force there, so I might actually take. Let's take the infantry and half of my garrison and a unit of cavalry. For war. Gun. Oh, I'm actually going to. I'm actually going to fight this. What do I demand surrender? Damn right, they refuse to surrender. We're going to take Naples, and this could actually. So I would like to take Sardinia. And I'd also, well, eh. well, maybe the Romans and my current army, my big army, goes east. Okay, let's plonk, plonk my guns somewhere fairly simple. General right on the flank. Infantry up front. Let's 
storm, 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 storm. Soundberg. Exploding shots. Let's keep a house of targeting infantry, because I want to get them to mac them to have maximum amount of kills to get their experience up with round shot. If they don't miss, God, I kind of just <laughs> shot a guy in the head. Yep, now you guys are winded. And they're gonna get some. They're gonna get the first shots off, but that's okay. We have fire by rank. So let's speed up time a little bit. We got some got some hits with our howitzers. Curve in this flank. Curve in this unit rather. Let's bring our infantry around. There we go. The 29th regiment afoot had the poor duty of being the one in the frame. Okay, now everyone pour fire into this group and hopefully make them rout. A nice chain route would be perfect. Barrage goes in against the house, against the mortars. That's exactly what we wanted to see. So let's sip ascend. Those two guys up in a long run. Good. They're all. They've all broken. get the hussars to go on into them. Get my howitzers to go after the garrison line right at the rear. No, don't go for them. Just run straight through. Because these guys are about to be mown down. Missed a chance. My cowrymen have safely legged it. There we go. Slice town for my hussars. <laughs> you better angle those barrels high, boys. Damn right. It's enough for you. Oh, look at all that death. Let's just hold military fire for now all together. Not necessary at all, but it's just a good way to get experience for my cavalrymen. Awesome. Two chevrons is good enough. Conclusive victory against the Spanish. And Naples is ours. Naples is actually earning a lot of money, and it gives us visibility on where the Austrians actually are. 
It's a decent little, was well, a decent little army. Decent little raiding force. Let's repair the magistrate. Replenish the troops. And immediately, I actually might send some of my cavalry on a sprint down to Taranto to garrison it so I can build a shipyard. Oh, local fishery might be able to build some decent stuff. Church school. It's going to be destroyed. It's got a farm. Average yield farm. So this one down here is the, is the better one to do. Awesome. Because, yeah, this guy needs to just build up in case they attack me from the east. Cool. I don't want to march too far away from Venice. I mean, I know oh, it's a pretty weak. Pretty weak army, but still like one more turn. So let's see what happens. Psh. At least I know they're not going to go for my territories. Ooh. Oh, they're going to get. They are going to go for Rome. <sighs> Cheeky little souls, and they're not going to attack it. Well, they always need to turn on. So it shouldn't really be struggling enough to, to also and also bring them back and be ready for when these guys march south and join them me by not assaulting me. Now the, the British American Amer the British colonies in the Americas have now began to form the just the new Roman Empire. Ooh, hello Spain. New Spain. Concerned are we? Concerned for your little friends. Too bad. Withdraw, withdraw. <laughs> so that was enough to stop them from specifically attacking para, 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 bimbo, para bimbo. Barbara Bimbo, Bimbo, Bimbo. Barbara State Spins, Sneaky. Okie dokie. So. More than happy them to do their own thing. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. I mean, yeah, it's getting pretty strong now. One gun team's probably in there. Okay, so then this army. Let's recruit an actual general for it this time. Granville Wilson. I can Two sloops ready to garrison my to garrison my um, ports. Make this into a church school. Let's upgrade some vineyards and farms. Because I would like my cavalry back. Then bring Granville Wilson up and attack Ildefonso Perez. Ah, next turn. See your last four turns. I mean, what have they got? Well, it's just the same army. It's just the same, exactly the same. It's the other army that I intercepted. So these guys are already chewed up. Great Arsenal in Philly. Oop, iron mine. Keep upgrading the mines down to the Americas because they should have mines I can upgrade. Oh, they've already. Oh, I don't have enough money. Okay, Peyton Hawthorne is going to attack the Groningen Plantations. And then knock back the first battle against uh, the Indian Territories. Or one, an Indian faction. So, looking at the timer, that'll take me way over my limit. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the fighting some Indians in Brazil. <laughs> Cheers, guys.